Hello and good evening. My name is Vida Kadam, and the leadership quality I'll be talking to you about is vision. I have actually entitled this whole presentation, The Visionary Life. So what is the definition of vision? It is defined by Oxford English Dictionary, which happens to be my favorite dictionary as the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination and wisdom. Webster defines vision as a thought, concept, or object formed by the imagination. The scripture says where there is no vision, the people perish. I have also noticed that where there is no vision, hopelessness abound. Mediocrity becomes the norm. Progress and development is stifled. So let's look at how leadership relates to vision or how vision relates to leadership. No leader worth his or her salt can survive without vision. As a matter of fact, vision is more important than strategy because no matter how stra how much you strategize without vision your chances of achieving your goals is next to nothing so let's see uh, some examples of leaders who were full of vision what i call the visionary leaders i have um, Martin Luther King Jr., Henry Ford, Walt Disney, Nelson Mandela, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. These, these, these are all very uh, visionary leaders of our generation. Growing up in Africa, most of the leaders that I came to know were without vision. And it was so sad because it affected the communities and the organizations which they led. Morale was low, development and progress was stifled, and it was a very sad situation. But thank goodness for my family, especially my father, who was a man of vision. In fact, he had a clear vision of where he wanted the family to go. And every action and uh, decision he made was in line or was aligned with the, uh, with the vision he had for the family. It impacted my life in a remarkable way, actually. It made me appreciate the importance of vision it made me appreciate the power of vision, and it made me see the difference vision can make in a life, because I saw the life of, of my family as compared to the lives of other families. Since that time, I have never lived without, a day without vision. In fact, a lot of people accuse me of uh, refusing to live in the moment. Because I'm always thinking ahead. I'm always looking ahead. How can I make tomorrow better? My personal life has been going from realizing one vision to another. Throughout my life, I've always had a vision. I remember growing up as a little girl in Africa, I had a vision of where I want to be in the future. How my life should turn out in the future. And then uh, every vision I had, I vocalized it. I shared it with my parents and my teachers. And uh, they were wonderful enough to help me and guide me and uh, lead me towards the path that I, I, I have to be in order to realize my visions. I remember growing up as a little girl, I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to go to the university and study law, which I was able to do. I wanted to uh, come to the United States to further my education and uh, seek greener pastures. I was also able to do that. 
I remember having a dream, I mean a vision, to own my own business. And now thankfully I've been able to achieve that. And I also remember doing, I mean having a vision to do the kind of uh, job I'm doing now. So that is a blessing. And this is not to say that I've been able to realize every vision. Uh, every vision. There are, still, there are still a lot of vision out there that haven't come to, uh, to, to fruition, but I'm, plan I'm working on them seriously, and I hope to realize them any uh, time from now. So let's see some of the qualities of a visionary leader, or how we can all practice visionary living. Visionary leaders are always planning and thinking ahead. Like I said, I'm always thinking about tomorrow, how I can make tomorrow better. I'm always looking ahead. Visionary leaders are good communicators. And by communication, I mean communication is two ways, transmitting and receiving, talking and listening. One thing I've observed is that uh, visionary leaders are good listeners. Visionary leaders are selfless and they are humble. They are people-centered, not program or policy-centered. So when Martin Luther King Jr. said he had a dream, it was about people, it wasn't about programs. So visionary leaders are very people in conclusion, I would like all of us to imagine a world without these renowned visionary leaders that I, I mentioned earlier. Let's imagine a world without all the technological advances, advancement we become so comfortable with. Let's imagine a world without the advances in science and medicine. Because you know what? All the good things we are enjoying right now, all the comfort and the blessings that we are receiving right now, started with somebody having a vision. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.